Hi, let's see how we can use some basic HTML and JavaScript to change the hyperlink based on the status. The idea behind this implementation is to have a different hyperlink based on the status. So if the status is open, I would like to be able to edit that entry. And if the status is closed, I want to be able to view the entry. In other words, just be able to read the data without having the ability to edit. Let's go back. And then if I do happen to edit a particular entry, and if I want to close the project, I can select the status, click on Update, and you can see how now that status is closed. And once again, I can go to the details, but now I have the ability to view the entry without having the ability to update. Let's go to Caspio now, and let me show you how to build this. To create this, you're going to need three different data pages, just like in my live example that we just looked at. So let's go ahead and close this folder. Let's open up this one underneath that. And let's build this whole entire workflow from scratch. So the first data page that I'm going to build is the one to manage projects. So let's go down to reports, click on tabular, click next. My data source table will be my projects table. Let's give it a name. Manage projects. I'm going to use my blue style and then simply just continue. Let's filter data. Continue. I'm not going to filter based on any fields. I just want to be able to display all the projects. Let's continue. Let's include all the fields in our results page, except for the project ID and maybe the closed reason. Continue. Let's not have the ability to edit. Let's move on. And let's go ahead and insert an HTML block. And let's move this HTML block all the way at the bottom. In the Advanced tab, go ahead and disable the HTML editor. Click on the Standard tab again, and from here you're going to have to add two hyperlinks. This is actually very easy using HTML. All you have to do is write out a href equals two double quotes, and then give your hyperlink a name. The first one is going to be called View, and then close your A tag. Copy this row and paste it directly underneath, and rename the second one to maybe Edit. We're going to come back to this screen in a few minutes. Let's continue. Let's move on and let's say no details page. Click on preview now and you should be able to see these two hyperlinks side by side. They don't work just yet because we don't have the destination URL created. So let's go back to Caspio. I'm going to close the preview tab and simply just click finish to save our changes. The next thing we need to do is build those two details pages. One that's going to give us the ability to view the data and the other one just to be able to edit. Let's begin with our second data page. Let's go down to Reports, click on Details, Next, and we're going to call this one View Project. Once again, I'll use my blue style. Continue. I want to filter the data, and I want to make sure I enable Allow Parameters, because in order for me to see the details of that project, my Details page will need to receive the project ID, which will eventually pass from the Results page. Make sure you select External Parameters, click Next. The two filtering fields that you will need here are the Project ID and also the Status. Click Next. For Project ID, go to the Advanced tab and say Receive Value externally, and let's call it PID. Value must be required, and for your Status, go back to Standard tab and simply just say Closed, because if the project is closed, I just want to be able to view the information. I don't want to be able to edit. Continue. Let's include all the fields in the details view. And because this details page is only going to be read only, I don't need to change the form element. I can keep that as display only and simply just click finish. So this details data page will just allow users to view the project. Let's build one more that allows us to edit. And instead of building it from scratch, all you really do here is click on More, click on Duplicate, and let's rename this to Edit Project. Now I do need to make a few modifications, so let's click Edit, click Next, Next. All of this is the same except for Status. This needs to read Open. And let's go to the Details page. And on the Details view, we want to be able to edit the information, so let's go ahead and change a few of these settings. Start date, completion date. Your status can be a drop down here. So it's either going to be open or closed. And then we have a closed reason. Let's go ahead and set this to be a text area. So if the status is closed, I want to be able to provide a reason why I chose to close the project. 
So we can go to the Rules tab and create our first rule here. Set the criteria based on the status field. And if the status does not equal closed, anything other than closed, I want to be able to hide the closed reason. So let's read this together. If the criteria says status is not closed, so meaning it's still open, I want to be able to hide this field. Conversely, if it does equal to closed, I want to be able to show the closed reason so that I can provide a reason why I closed the project. Let's click finish to save our changes. And the next thing that we need to do is grab the destination URL of each one of these two data pages and paste it inside the results page. So let's begin with the edit project. We're going to click on deploy, grab the URL, copy it, edit the report, go into our HTML block, find the edit, and in between the quotes you want to paste that text, click finish. Now let's grab the one for view project, click on deploy, grab the URL, edit the report, navigate to the HTML block, and paste that text. The next thing that you need to do is pass the project ID, because in order to filter the project that you're looking at, you need to receive the project ID. This is how you link the results page to your details page. And to pass the ID, we use a question mark to initiate the string. Then we call the parameter PID. Then you add an equal sign, and then you're going to insert the project ID that you're passing. Let's do the same thing for the second one, question mark, PID, equal sign, and then you're going to pass the project ID field, just like that. Now when you hit preview, the exact behavior that you should get is if I click on the view, to look at this project, I have the ability to read the data. If I click on edit, I should not be able to edit because this project is closed and that details page is filtering only the projects that are open to be able to edit. So if I click on this edit link, you will see no records found. But the one directly underneath that, if I click on edit and this project is still open, I do have the ability to edit that project. Let's go back. The last thing that we need to do is apply some JavaScript to show and hide each one of these hyperlinks based on the status. So if it's closed, I want to be able to see view only. If it's open, I would like to be able to see edit and hide the view link. Let's go back to Caspio. And the first thing that you need to do is insert an ID for each one of these hyperlinks because we need to uniquely identify each hyperlink. So what you do is add ID equal sign two double quotes and then add some space and then in between the quotes you can create a custom unique ID here so for the first one let's go ahead and say view and then we can insert the project ID field and this is going to be a unique ID for this hyperlink for the second one let's also insert ID equal sign two double quotes some space and then this one we'll call edit and then once again we're going to include the project ID and all we're doing is basically using the project ID with this prefix to give that a unique ID. The next thing that you want to do, or the last thing that you want to do here, is to add some script to grab the ID from each hyperlink and hide it based on the status. To do so, you're going to need to add a little bit of JavaScript. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in the video, but just keep in mind that this script is going to be available in the description of this video. So if you do wish to use it for your own projects, you're welcome to do so. I'm going to explain what the script is doing. Basically, the first line here is setting the criteria. So if the status equals to open, we use the comparison operator. So again, if the status and if in the table, that project equals to open, we're going to use a method here in JavaScript to grab the element ID from our document. In other words, we're basically grabbing this ID, view project ID, which can be found up here in our hyperlink. And if the status equals to open, I would like to hide that entire hyperlink. On the other hand, if the status equals to close now, I would like to grab the ID edit project, which is this one over here that we created. And I would like to be able to hide this entire hyperlink. So that's all the script is doing. It's very simple. It's just a few lines of script that allows us to manipulate each of the hyperlinks based on the status. So now when I click on preview, you should be able to see how we hide each of the links depending on status. So if it's closed, it's view only. If it's open, it's edit only.
Thanks for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video. Also, if you want to see additional tips and tricks on how to use Caspio, don't forget to subscribe. And for additional videos and articles on how to use Caspio, please visit our knowledge base at howto.caspio.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.